In this lesson, we do some work on mental strategies for subtraction. When we talk about mental strategies, we're saying, do this in your head, okay, without pen and paper. First thing we'll do, we'll look at compensation strategy. Now, what we do here, as an example, if we were to subtract 9, a way of doing this is to subtract 10 and then add 1. Subtracting 8, we could do subtract 10 and add 2. If we need to subtract 7, we could subtract 10 and then add 3. If we were subtracting something like 49, well, this is pretty close to 50, isn't it? So we could subtract the 50, but we've subtracted too much. We'd need to add 1. To subtract 38, okay, it's pretty close to 40, we could subtract 40 and then add 2. If we needed to subtract 17, pretty close to 20, we could subtract 20 and then add 3. Let's look at some examples now. The first one we've got 77 minus 9. So let's bring our thinking person in, our thinking man. 77, that's what we're thinking firstly. Now we've got to subtract 9. So what we can do there is we can subtract 10, then add 1. So let's think 77, let's subtract 10. We'd be down to 67, but we still have to add 1 would be getting 68. So our answer there, 68. What about 83 minus 29? Well, let's bring our thinking head back in there. 83, we're thinking to start with, 83. We're subtracting 29. It's pretty close to 30. So let's subtract 30, then add 1. So 83, take away 30, would give us 53. Okay, so we're at 53 at the moment. We then need to add 1. We'd get 54. Great. The next one, 116 minus 38. So let's start thinking. 116 to start with. Now, to subtract 38, well, it's pretty close to 40. So what about subtracting 40, and then we'll add 2. So we've got 116. Let's take away 40. We'd be down to 76. And we still need to add 2. We'd get 78. Fantastic. 90 minus 67. Well, let's start thinking. 90 to take away 67 is pretty close to 70. So if we took away 70, we then need to add 3. So that we've got 90. Let's take away 70. Okay, we're down to 20. But we still need to add 3. We get 23. Okay, that's great. We look now at the jump strategy. Now. If we were to subtract something like 21, well, we could do it in two steps, two jumps, if you like. We could take away 20, then take away 1. If we're subtracting 52, we could take away 50, and then take away 2 more. If we needed to subtract 73, we could take away 70, then take away 3 more. Let's look at some examples. 58 minus 21. All right, let's bring our thinking lady in this time. 58, we're starting thinking 58. We're taking away 21. So let's take away 20, then take away 1. So let's take 20 away from 58. We'd be down to 38. And we've still got one more to take away. We're down to 37. Terrific. 79 minus 53. So we're thinking. 79 to start with. Now to take away 53, let's do two steps. Let's take away 50, then we'll take away 3. So we've got 79 in our mind. We take away 50, we'd be down to 29. And then we still have to take 3 more away, we'd be down to 26. Very happy about that. The next one, 200 minus 32. So we're thinking 200 start with. Take away 32, what do you reckon? Two steps. Take away 30 and then take away 2. So 200, take away 30, would be 170. And then take away 2 more, would be 168. Our final one, 365 minus 74. Okay, so we're thinking... 365 in our head, we've got 365. 
We're taking away 74, so we'll take away 70, then we'll take away 4. So 365 take away 70, it's a hard one, mm, thinking, 295. We've still got to take 4 more away, we'd be down to 291. So 291 is our final answer, yippee.